Hello and welcome back in. Um, I, I really want to start planning what the heck we're doing with all this game. Um, certainly Statue of Liberty is a huge deal and I really want to get that. Where can we get that best? Or did I say Statue of Liberty? Eiffel Tower. Can't build it in Sparta now. They're working on a different thing. Uh, this is pretty choppable over yonder. You got a few options maybe. We need to get there, and uh, and then we need to we need to kill Nubia. Oh man, I'm excited. Stinking Nubia being a pain. I'll, I'll I'll hold these troops here for a little while longer while they're still here. Do this. Oh, I really want to. I mean, even just for a couple turns, I'll take it. This this is incentive to not kill her, but I think we have to. That's not going to happen. Cool. We dealt with one reconverted a little bit, but she, but there is really, really scary. All, all these, all these apostles are, are, are terrifying to me. I want to go inside, continue my role as an indoor kid. Do we have enough money for one more? Nope. Nope. Oh, Cree, what why? Why? Alright, so real quick policy switch. We're done with that guy. Um, I do think the amenities are worth it. Oh yeah, holy cow. Two amenity policies and we're right back in this. Um, cool. Nationalism is core. That's cores and armies. We already have St. Basil's. Um, religious orders could be useful, actually, in defending against his, um, yeah. Maybe we need to do that. We want uh we want garrison units in all cities. You're working your way over there. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Check that tile out. And it's next to a dumb encampment, but it's still a good enough appeal. All right, this is a big continent for us to have. I like it. It's a weird, it's a weird name. See, hey. I have friends in both places. Air score for uh, commercial hub. That is wow. What a shatty city. Really? You're, you, that's really well, whatever. Now I have to raise it. You understand that, right? Okay. I will give up a little bit of the gold uh, just so we can try to defend our religion with um, these religious orders. You liked that pun? I think I think you and I were the only ones who did. <laughs> Thanks, my pet. Uh, nationalism or work our way to conservation? This would save us money, frankly. Yikes, Major Band Geek. It's not Punishment Monday, please. Oh my gosh, Oreo.
<laughs> How do you have two? Oh, I see. Dumb. Dumb. Stupid work, missing puns. I know, right? Life's hard sometimes. Yeah, I will buy gold. I will gladly buy gold. We're coming. Coming with the cavalry. Sweet. Reduces the appeal of that tile. But it's fine. It's a functionally good tile for them. One, two. Oh, you can't even. Wait. Oh. Can't even use it. I take it back. Let's get the culture. Good job, builder. I'm an awesome, I'm an awesome leader. <laughs> How would I boost Spain? Because they're underwhelming. I actually talked about this at great length uh, last week. Um, because we were talking about Spain and, and the viability of certain leaders and stuff. Um, there are a couple different ways to do it. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head right now to throw at you. But fixing Spain should be a priority. Because they're, they're conceptually really cool, but just functionally not very strong. Alrighty, hi. Um, really? And if anybody else here can help. Oh, Cavalry, you're so great. Can we take any of your tiles? No. gosh oh my gosh that's so many apostles <laughs> help help do that Let's get all these guys up there a couple more melons There we go. Wow. Um, oh, once again, she is not in a golden age. So good for us as far as loyalty. But if we were both in a golden age, I'd be able to hold her cities. No problem. Claim great person. Uh, sure. I'll take both of these. There you go, Jerusalem. Quest solved. Next turn, I think we can get there. In the meantime, we're just going to have some melon raiding kind of a fun kind of a fun time here minus 20 loyalty on your capital take that i think i'm just going to buy another one 
Do I have a pre-stream checklist I go to go through? Um, I guess I don't think about it like that, but yes. Like I, um, yeah. I mean, I have a routine. Um, involves getting things ready to go and just checking checking the 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 lighting and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too too crazy. <laughs> too too. Um, yeah, kind of. Do warmongering penalties not affect your alliance relationships? Let's find out. Minus sixty five total. We'll see. We'll see where that goes in the next few turns here. Lighting looks nice today. Oh, good. I'm glad. Thanks, Carpet. <laughs> yes, Killer Colonel. I, I absolutely, I absolutely um, think so. Yeah, this won't ever. Ch the icon here won't ever change um, because uh, because we're already allied. We might not get a chance to re up it though. Zulu West here and want to learn more about this game. What would you like to know? We'd be happy to teach you all of the things about this game if you like. Be more than thrilled. Campus, commercial hub. Oh, baby, do I need some money. All right, we need we need all of our cities to go to Babylon. It's our only chance of like not going broke here. Uh, that's a pretty good one. This should be a reasonable amount of science. Building tall versus building wide. Building tall meaning like fewer cities, but those cities have a lot of production and can do lots of things, lots of districts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, wide being the way that you generally should play Civ Six, and you have like ten, twelve cities. Um, even eight cities is kind of not considered wide, but eight, eight, eight in Civ Five would probably be considered wide. What is a civilization? Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what is a civilization? Do we have any philosophers who have a quippy response? I guess we could just... Yeah, screw you, Walls. Remember when this was my city? Me too. Out of this room. Oops. Kind of mismanaged that builder. All right. Now we can grab another apostle. Hopefully we can live all this. I'm going to let him come to me. We can we can we can heal here at our holy site and hopefully survive this. Nice. How many cities do you recommend putting down early game? Um, generally speaking, uh, I recommend spending your first hundred turns or so trying to establish about eight to twelve cities. Whether you do that through whether you do that through um, war or settling them yourself, um, but if you if you if you get twelve cities, you're gonna you're gonna be pretty pretty comfortable as far as a faith. A culture or a, a science victory. Obviously, domination. You just need to take over the world. Um. But yeah. Yeah, this is a stupid little... That's the shatty city I mentioned earlier. And war is more efficient than building settlers. Yeah, because then you have a standing war. Yeah, or a standing, a standing army, which is a big deal. Generally more efficient. Sweet, we're going to get some more. 8 to 12. I would recommend 8 or 12, personally, just based on the way the amenities are distributed. Tends to be more efficient to build in multiples of four. Oh, this isn't the... You know what? For some reason, I thought this is the mountain guy. This is just a dumb campus guy. I think we lost the mountain guy. Okay, never mind. Never mind, just kidding. <laughs> All 
All right, we do want to kind of go towards natural history to get our archaeologists and conservation to get our natural national parks. Naturalists are good. We could start combining units too, but meh. The bad city does have turtles. We do have turtles in our cap, but I don't have them yet. Yeah, I'm not going to keep it just for turtles, unfortunately. Um, amenities do not work that way. Hi, Alex. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I think so, House. I think we can still sneak in a culture victory here. I don't really feel like fighting them on science. They're probably super far ahead of me. Eh, maybe not. But we have a culture tile improvement, and and so I'm gonna go out of my way to, to to make it to make it work for a culture victory. Plus, we're so close to Statue of Liberty to make those to make our culture tile improvement even better. I'll tell you what we do need is is just all the all the builders. We need all the builders, you guys. I'm gonna give up some science for all the builders. What do you think? And actually, let's go towards um, civil engineering then. It's just super close to get to anyways. Six turns away, and then we'll get all the builders? Okay. Figured it out. Con was great. Awesome. Got to play a card game based on the... Um, yeah, Town of Salem. I've, I've seen that. That actually looks really fun. I've, I've never played it, though. I was building threes because you like being inefficient. As long as you get to 12, you're, you'll be fine. I, I keep saying Statue of Liberty. I certainly don't mean to. Eiffel Tower is what I mean. I, I keep saying Statue of Liberty. Eiffel Tower is what I'm is is the wonder that I really really want. Hey, we can go over here now. Awesome. Yeah, I keep misspeaking. I apologize. Ooh, proselytizer's good. It is known that cool. And then Babylon's giving us a pretty nice benefit. We're up to twenty one science from them. We can pillage all the Nubian pyramids that we want because we don't get to keep them anyways. Yeah, and we have a big enough army that we could probably handle Poundmaker, but we're allied. I can I, I physically cannot declare war on him. I'd rather just let my prophets like try to hold hold stem the tide here a little bit. And like let them attack into us. Ooh, all the trade routes. this guy all right so next turn we can pretty much get in there oh this poor city needs food can't really have any. Yeah, this is a problem with Tundra Cities. It would be a fine, productive city, but it, it, it's kind of capped out here at three pop. Uh, I can't do a whole lot with them. We might need to settle some more cities, which is so weird. Not something I want to do. We're going to start working on all the builders. Mm, that's not true. Battering rams are almost in range. Give them a good trade route. That's a good idea. I really don't want to run food internal trade routes, but I will if I have to. What fate does Auckland have? They can stay. Auckland can stay. We have it. We actually have Huey already. So we'll have some reasonably productive uh, cities just based off of coast tiles. Hello. 
don't really want to take damage from that encampment. Might not have a choice. There's our siege. Kadoki. I don't think the battering ram works with cavalry anymore. I think this is something that I've seen the last few 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 games. I think they finally fixed it. Because that's not any more powerful than just a normal... Yeah. Good. I'm glad they fixed it. Um, we can try to re-ally. Are we re-allying or are we seriously declaring war on our only ally? Because if I declare war on him, we just get to just... We, we get to solve our religious problems. But then we're never friends again. And if we're doing tourism stuff, that doesn't make sense. Because we're not going to have open borders with them. He's he's doing well, although not as well as he once was. He he has us converted technically. But remember that the on, there are only two other people in the game, so well, about to be only two other people. Yeah, I think we need friends too. I think I can actually survive. That this might be my undoing. We'll see. Plus 20 gold per turn helps us a lot right now. I'm not really in a rush. I'll take the... Oh, that works. Bye, city. Um, this is one of my more established cities. I think I'd rather uh, build, get some builders there and in our cap next. Like, we just need all the builders. Rick asks, can I give a quick uh, recap on how the Twitch Prime change changes affect me? Um, it really only affects me in the same way that it affects you guys, uh, in that I won't be able to have ad-free viewing anymore, unfortunately. But beyond that, it, it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect, I don't ever, I don't, I don't have a, a, a single penny worth of, uh, of, of money that I've made off of an ad. I don't run them, I don't get them, yeah. Do the last do we play multiplayer? Yeah, we play we play, we coordinate all that through the Discord. We will play usually usually people get involved in multiplayer games on the weekends and stuff where people have a little more time. But yeah, we'll we'll play some casual stuff. We're not super hardcore like CPL. <laughs> Sounds like a should after this change. Mm, I doubt it. I didn't see anything about affiliates getting the uh, ability to run ads. Hey, Vlad. How you doing, buddy? Having seen a non-market economy, I suddenly understood much better. War with Australia? Yeah, only because they, they went to war and I'm allied.
Uh, I don't think so, Ordos. Let's look at that after this video, you guys. We will, we will, oh, we will for yeah. sure. Thanks, Lulu. Thanks for the host, man. You gotta get swifty. You gotta get swifty in here. Um, yeah, we will. Um, we'll look at that. We'll, we'll, we'll go over that. We did talk a little bit about it today already, but um, sounds like it's worth reviewing. Let's go inside our borders and heal up. This is a terrible attack across the river. Yes, planning on taking what's left of Nubia. That might be our undoing over there. We'll probably lose a unit at some point. Thank you. Hey. Rip Nubia. <laughs> Rip Nubia, indeed. Old McDonald, thank you for the 210. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the bits. Most kind of you. Um, yeah, you do need to grow. I mean, we already weakened one unit. Might as well just commit to this. Okay. Boo. I guess. Pass the promotion just to get that kill in there. Yeah, I don't think the battering rams help. I think that is super fixed, and that makes me happy. Yeah, that's that's that was my understanding too, um, Mech. Yeah, she does have a lot of wonders. I'm excited to to take them. It'll be good for our tourism eventually. Where are, where are you? Where are you fighting me? Did, did you bug her off? That would be fine with me. The rest of his apostles. Just here, working on Babylon. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. Why waste apostles on the city-state? I don't know, man. Hashtag AI. Mausoleum is gone. Wah, wah. Oh, that was close. Ow, ow. Thank you. there next oh my ow hurts i don't like using losing units so no I like the amenities these guys are giving giving me, but I think we need some additional military support. So maybe we bring up uh, maybe we bring up these melons. Yeah, the move speed on the cavalry is absolutely disgusting. It makes me very very happy. Kind of do want walls everywhere if we are going to go tourism. Small amount of tourism, very efficient to build. We 
We have six envoys available. I will take the error score for that. Flipping somebody. Hey, monk. Aiming, aiming for religious victory. Probably going to go tourism. Probably just going tourism. I think we lose this guy, unfortunately. I don't think I can prevent that. Lost that Kev. That's sad. Battering ram did do work. Huh. Okay, good to know. Cause yeah, that didn't hit for anything. It's just it just it's still just painful is what it is. Battering ram, still broken. Can confirm. Am I not trying to take over the world? Um no. Not today. This will be a culture victory. We can get these now. Ooh, Nubia Caravel. Yikes. Let's start getting our theater squares. Battering Rams and Siege Towers work well together? I've never actually tried that. That's a cool idea. Really don't want to end my turn here, but I think we might have to. No. No, I'll let him attack me. Oh boy, we've got even more coming. I, I, I shouldn't have come out this far with these apostles. I think I've exposed them now. That's no good. You read that battering rams will only affect melee units? I We can prove that wrong in two turns, if you want. No Inquisitors? You cannot have Inquisitors if you don't found your own religion, sadly. We did not found our religion. Have you used Cavs since if fives very effective with them? Yeah, that's definitely the way to go, honestly. If you're, if you're playing Domination stuff, Cavalry are the way to go. Um, they they can both be next to the city, Vlad. They can't be on the same tile. Ow. Ow. So that first attack did this much damage. 
Uh, you didn't found a religion, but your apostles can fight Poundmaker. Yes. No, he is. So we took we took Gorgo's religion. Uh, and he is Islam. So any any apostles of different of opposing religions can fight. Like I could create ones that like aren't my religion if I'm going for a religious victory, and it would be really annoying. Oh no worries, that's just a mod that we're using. We're using a couple different mods. So my game looks differently from yours because of those. I cannot have a religious victory, correct? Could because I did not found a religion. You're very welcome. Is Auckland soon your land? Um, I don't think I'm fighting Auckland. I would I would rather have them on my side. This is all probably correct. I can't think of although I want builders, so I'm gonna give up the amenities for builders. We'll just have unhappy cities. We need builders. Production over happiness. <laughs> the the Chilean way. All right, we need to go towards conservation. We get a lot of tourism out of that. Hey, speaking of amenities, I'll gladly take that merchant. And sure, we can take uh, Donatella as well. What's the best save? Yours is England. Um, I've uh, I've ranked them. That that will get updated after this challenge because um, I have I've have, I've have some evolving thoughts on certain things. Um, but prior to our summer marathon here, those were my ranks. Let's go and get those. Bring a musket up to help. We need a little more help up north. Actually, you could probably come up that way too. Let's go that way. <laughs> what do we want? Thanks. How do we win it? Culture. Francis has been riding up in your head ranking. Oh yeah, Major? Just because of the chateaus or what? Yeah, it, it yeah, it, it, they're very inconsistent with some of those descriptions, unfortunately, monk. Um, yeah, they 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 mean. So let's look at this. Here's the battering ram. Ancient air support unit. When adjacent to a city, attacking melee units do full damage to the city's walls. That's very very misleading because the swordsman is specifically a melee class unit. However, what they mean with this is any non-ranged unit. It's a silly distinction. Land, actually, non-ranged land unit is specifically what this means. So, are you have a look at the ratings? Just uh, click the button. Just follow that link. Yeah, let's bring back our religious units. Diplomatic visibility. Yeah, that that was a nice little that was a nice little buff for her for sure. The diplomatic visibility thing. We could abuse our uh, chop like, like our wall chop overflow stuff here, but I'm not super worried about it. you more amenities that makes me happy <laughs> right killer colonel <laughs> builders are quite special they can live for thousands of years and yet die with a single instant yeah
Thanks. Whoops. I was supposed to bring you. Sup? Yo, what's up, Broken? Thank you for the four ninety nine, man. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it a whole lot. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Uh, part of my issue here is I decided to... Just gonna move along. Don't want to talk about it. Meant to press the city transfer button. It's cool. All right, so again, our first attack from a cavalry did this much damage. We bring up the battering ram. It's not all the damage, but it is a significantly increased amount. You'd rate Alexander how you almost never get the boost in that in the normal fashion? I think you often do. You can manipulate most of them. I mean, they are nice to get. There are some that are super awkward for sure. I agree with you there, but I think I think a lot of them you can you can micromanage yourself. And and the reason that Alex isn't ranked higher, Alex is a great domination sieve. Um, but I rank that that those are strictly for deity purposes, and I would I rank things higher that are versatile. Um, Alex being very good, very, uh, very, very good at what he does is great. But beyond that, he's not all that effective. Like you have to be warring to make him work. So that just takes him down a little bit. But you are more than welcome to disagree with me. I, I, I don't claim that those are, you know, are perfect. They're just my opinion. Is the most versatile Persia, hence them being at the top. Nice major van geek. Most OP civs were the DLCs. I mean, with the exception of Germany, that's that's kind of true. Is this yet not another Earth map pack? Yeah, we've started using it. Again. How come we're using it? Uh, because it adds in like, like something like 18 more tiles to your maps so it gives you that much more room you can do the two to one ratio things so that's why just just that like i've been so frustrated with the lack of space and the forward settling and stuff so we just we just we just made the rather that rather than like make a standard map and drop two sieves just just it, the, we've used it the last two games, and it's given me enough room where I'm I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it. It could also just be small sample size, and it's not actually helping, or we just had a bad bad run of things. You know, there, there there's certainly, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect, but I I think it's improved things a little bit. No. Ooh, she has cavalry. Go 
Good for you. Is Australia going to ever, ever end the war? I don't know. I don't know. They don't like war, I thought. I have Tamara in last. You concur. Could she be saved? Yeah, she could be saved. Give her a unique unit that isn't terrible and make her unique building not a wall. <laughs> the Golden Age thing is cool. Um, and, and, and her other thing is kind of cute and fine. Um, but yeah, she, she can be saved with, with just fixing those things, in my opinion. Or make it for ancient walls. Yeah, that'd be fine, too. Yeah, if it, if it were ancient walls... Um, granted, granted, the, the providing maximum fortification bonus uh, wouldn't be... <laughs> isn't something I'm interested in, in the ancient... I mean, I would love it, but it would be broken as heck. Um, you'd, have to, you'd have to tweak her unique walls. Tamar is, she does nothing, which is the cold, cold reality of it. <laughs> Killer Colonel. I'm sorry to say. Holy cow. Um, remember that general that, <laughs> that we had? I, I miss him. <laughs> I miss him a lot. This is this is painful. Yeah, she's sitting on cavalry. I'm sad. Run away, Melon Raider. All right, so we got it. We we have to finish up this, and and it's gonna have to be a little more methodical. I thought we'd really steamroller with cavalry, but it's a little bit slower than I expected. Tomorrow has a pretty color palette and great music. And great music. Let's not forget about that. Tom Maker got Rur, so he's trying to go to space. Colonialism. As it well as win religiously, of speaking of which. But who is going to spread it among yeah. The fighting fighting for the South here. With our with our religion stuff. And I don't really want to burn all my religion, right? Like Because I wanna I wanna be able to buy naturalists. Uh, there's an achievement in which you have to free the capital of Egypt as Nubia. Um, how do you get a sieve to war each other? Um, we just got lucky in that game. We, we just set it up, like made sure that, uh, Egypt was in the game. And then it was just like, GG. Because it all happened. <laughs> so I don't, I, I, I don't really have an answer to you beyond get lucky. Because <laughs> I didn't have to put any effort into it. Awful, awful location for a city, but I'm going to keep it anyways. Heal these guys up. Come back. Try to deal with the rest of this. Three more envoys. Not maximizing Diplomatic League. Don't really care. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's not cheating to put Cleo in the game beforehand. Correct. Yeah, not cheating. You're allowed to manipulate that. Go for it. The times where you just outright spend all your envoys for certain city states? Absolutely. Yeah, like Stockholm, um, Geneva, uh, Zanzibar can be worth it. Um, yeah, it just depends on what I'm doing and, and, and what the game looks like. But yeah, there are definitely times where that makes a lot of sense. I wonder if I really just need to core up all these cavalry. need help. Norm, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Cool. And that's actually a great spot to end the video. Thank you for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, and we will catch you guys in the next one.